Welcome TMDDTM viewers to another episode of Things My Dad Didn't Teach Me. Today I'm going to show you how to tighten a loose screen on an early 2014 11-inch MacBook Air. If you don't happen to have this model, don't worry, they're all very similar, but this video will help you walk through repairing yours as well. So the first thing you want to do is flip your MacBook Air over, remove the 10 screws on the back. You will need a P5 screwdriver. The two center screws are long as compared to the other eight remaining. So remember where you remove those screws from. Now that we've removed the bottom of this MacBook Air, the first thing you want to do is disconnect the battery. I'm using a pry tool to disconnect this battery here. Be careful with that, make sure you're gentle in the removal. Now we wanna check the base hinge screws to see if we just need to tighten those up. Now if you're lucky, you're gonna only need to tighten up these four hinge screws that are actually connected to the base, not the ones connected to the screen. So I'm not so lucky, so I'm gonna to have to show you how to tighten up the screws connected to the screen. So I'm gonna to have to remove these screws in order to get to the hinge screws that are connected to the screen. As you can see, I've removed all four of those screws. So now we wanna disconnect the video cable here. You see this little flap here, get up under it and pull it slightly. Pull on that flap, it's like a hinge that moves back and forth as you can see here. You gotta squeeze the sides, be very gentle, each side to kind of slide it out. So now that we have that disconnected, we're gonna remove the uh, triangle strips right around the corner, one on the left side, one on the right side here. Use your pry tool to get just up under it. Now we want to remove the bridge cable here. Again, using my pry tool, you're just going to get slightly up under it, be gentle, and popping that thing right off. Now that we've removed this, we have access to the eyesight cable here. We want to create some slack in this eyesight cable because this is connected to the screen. So you want to create a little bit of slack so that when we go to tighten the screen back up, we're not putting a lot of stress on this particular cable. So you want to loosen this up here. Be very gentle here. Do not pull it too hard or you'll rip it. Now I'm going to cork between the base and the screen. Just put something in there that's soft um, so it allows you the ability to lift the base up and down between the screen. And so what I'm looking to do here is figure out how much play I have. As you can see here, it's loose. So I got a good disconnect going here. So I should be able to uh, separate these units here now. So next we're gonna remove the plastic hinge cover here. You want to try to pry something in between here. I'm actually using a pair of grips and I'm just going to lift up and out. Uh, if you don't have a pair of grips, be gentle and get something that's pretty sturdy. This literally just clicks in. So now that I have it loose, I can actually lift up and slide it out by hand here. So you see I'm just pulling it nice and gently. So now I actually have access to the screws that are connected to the screen. Next, we're gonna tighten the screen hinge screws. You'll see here, just beneath the cable wire, the reason we loosened the cable up earlier was to give us some slack so that we can get up under it. So go ahead and tighten all these screws that are connected to the screen hinge. Great. 
grab your plastic wire cover and slide it back on. This will snap into place. Be gentle, make sure that you are not compressing any of the wires that this plastic screen hinge cover is designed to protect. You're just gonna snap it into place until you hear it click. So you can see here I'm using my hand to push the hinge back down above the screw holes to the base. Keep the cork in there because it allows you to move the base back and forth so you can line those holes up exactly where you need to with the actual hinges so that you can put the screws in. Don't forget to gently reconnect the eyesight wire snap here. There's a little snap that you want to press this eyesight wire cable into. All right, so now we actually have that connected. And we can go ahead, push the hinge down here again by hand, and then align those screw holes up so that you can actually put the hinge screws back in. Make sure you don't clamp that wire. So notice that I actually moved that wire from up underneath the hinge here. Now reattach the remaining two base hinge screws. Place the triangle covers back on the corners. Reconnect your bridge cable here. Again, make sure you take your time to align them with the slots they go into. Do not force it. It should slide in easy. Apply a little bit of pressure and it should just snap in on both sides. Now you want to reconnect your video cable, slide it back through, use your pry tool to slide each corner back in, be very gentle, you don't want to bend that, and pulling it in, nice solid connection. Go ahead and push the flap back down so that it snaps around and it's held in place. Nice and gentle. So we've actually closed the video cable latch here. Now you just want to reconnect the battery. Again, don't force it. It should slide right back on. If it's not going on easy, that means you don't have the slots aren't lined up correctly. put the bottom cover back on, put all 10 screws back in, and we should be good to go. Notice here that I have a very sturdy connection. It's no longer loose. It's really important that you keep those hinge screws tight. If those hinge screws get loose, that'll cause your screen to snap, which in turn will snap some of the wiring, your video cable, your eyesight cables, and basically render your uh, MacBook useless. All right, there we go, we're done. So as you know, I put a lot of different content uh, covering different subjects on this channel. But if you're interested in resolving issues with your MacBook, be sure to subscribe to this channel as I have a number of MacBooks that I have to upgrade and fix. And I'll be sharing each project. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Things My Dad Didn't Teach Me. Be sure to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell so that you can get the latest episodes of Things My Dad Didn't Teach Me. God bless.